Okay, tonight I wanted to put together a short video explaining how I did a removable vacuum table attachment to my CNC router. My CNC router uh, table is consistent of a three quarter inch MDF as the base and then I have another layer of three quarter inch on top of that base with T-tracks inside of it. And the whole thing was a four foot by four foot table. So what I did to uh, install a vacuum table um, is I took uh, the two feet section half off here. So that brought it right down to a three quarter inch uh, thick table. Then I went ahead and I ran a couple of programs to drill some holes. I, dra I drilled four holes and put uh, insert T-nuts here to attach the vacuum table. And then I drilled a larger hole here to attach uh, my Festool uh, vacuum hose. This hole here is larger than a hole, so it allows me to bring it up through the table. So this is what we came up with. Um, this is a just a piece of uh, melamine, and it's uh, three quarter inch melamine. And basically, all I did is drilled four holes in the four corners. These holes match up with the four holes in the table where the T-nut inserts go so that when I go to put it on um, it goes in the same exact spot every single time. This hole here is an exact fit for my Festool vacuum hose which you know goes right up in here. It goes through the table and then it just goes up into the into the uh, vacuum table. So let me go ahead and install that. I'll show you how quick it is to install it. Um, I just line it up here with the holes uh, right right there and uh, then I just go ahead and zip zip uh, four of these uh, screws in a hole and it's the same exact spot every time so it's that easy to uh, go ahead and install it So there it is. Then I go ahead and I take my vacuum hose and I run it underneath the table and up into the spoil board. Through the spoil board and into the table. These slots here are just quarter inch deep slots. And then I go ahead and put the gasketing material into the slots. So that will give a complete vacuum. So the vacuum comes up through the hole and then through these slots. And that's what gives us our um, vacuum table. So then the next step is to make a spoil board. Um, so we make that out of half inch MDF and we go ahead and we run like 30 thousandths off of the top of each side and then that allows the vacuum to go right through the MDF. So here I've got a piece that I've already made into a spoil board and that sits right up on top. So the idea here is then when you do your carving you carve right into the uh, MDF and you damage the MDF and you don't damage your vacuum table. Your vacuum table stays intact the uh, entire time. So it'll get a little bit noisy here for just a moment and I'll give you a demonstration of how. But once it's on there then you can go ahead and run the router across it with a with a surfacing bit and take like 30 thousandths off, flip it over and 30 thousandths off and now the air will go right through it much easier and then you're damaging this MDF and not your uh, custom made vacuum table so that stays intact all the time and you're just damaging this spoil board so I'll go ahead and turn it on and I'm just using a regular shop vac actually I'm using a fest tool but you could use uh, any other shop vac as long as that you're not running it for hours and hours um, the best shop vacs I'm told uh, to run consistently are the fest tool or the fine but um, I have used regular you know shop vac from one of the big stores um, so go ahead and turn this on and then I'll show you uh, how, how it um, go ahead and creates a vacuum for us. So now this has got lots of vacuum. I'll go ahead and push it. And I'm putting a lot of weight on there. Uh, go ahead and uh, the next thing I do is I put my part on there. I'll go ahead and push in. So it's got lots of pressure. Be 
be able to hear me a little bit better now. It's got a lot of pressure there. I was putting a good portion of my weight and see it just will come right on off. I think this is a really good concept, uh, especially if you're just going to be V carving or um, just doing some 3D carving or something like that. Until you cut the piece out, um, even if you've got if you've got a big piece like this, it's good. But when you go with a smaller piece, I've found that you know it's it doesn't hold very well. Um, but this is the concept that uh, was come up, and we made this during one of my uh, monthly webinars. That's the first Tuesday of every month at 7 p.m. and um, just wanted to do a quick video here and show you uh, the spoil board that I made and how it worked out. So hope you uh, hope you like this and uh, hope to see you soon.